Hi, this is Laura Rogers with SharePoint 911, and in a previous screencast, I showed you how you can create a custom list form that will capture information about the logged in user inside of the form. Now, capturing information inside that form as they fill it out is not absolutely necessary because all the information about that person already exists in the site in the user info table. So I'm going to show you today how a way that you can a way that you can use Microsoft Access to be able to create a query that shows you the information about the users that have filled out forms uh, on lists or libraries inside of your site without having to ask the users for all that information inside of the forms that they fill out. So here's this is a SharePoint 2010 site. This does not need to be done in SharePoint 2010. This can be done in any version of SharePoint, any version of Microsoft Access. So I have a SharePoint site here, intranet.contoso.com. So I open up Microsoft Access and just create a new blank database. And in this new blank database, I'm going to link to some SharePoint data. So on the external data tab, click the more button and choose SharePoint list. Now I can paste in the URL to my SharePoint site, otherwise it will remember SharePoint sites that I've used in here before. So intranet.contoso.com is my site and I'm going to link to the data source. When I, once I've linked to the SharePoint site, I see a list of all the lists and libraries on the site. In this example, I'm going to pick store orders. These are orders that employees have made in a company store, which is a SharePoint list. I'm also going to pick the user info table, which shows information about all of the users who visited the site. I click OK. And now I have some new tables in my database. The reason that it pulled in store items is because store orders, orders and store items are related. Uh, one table has a lookup to the other table, so that other one got automatically pulled in. All right, so next I'm going to create a query because I want to create a uh, link between the orders that employees have made and the information about those users. So I don't have to ask them information like their phone number and their department name and things like that. I can just query it. So I'm going to put the store orders table in here and the user info table. And what I want to do is take that created by field and create a relationship to the name field in the user info table. So now I can take all this, uh, these fields having to do with the order that they've made, and then I can take their, their email address, let's see, their phone number, title, department, just whatever fields I need to see in my, in my uh, query, and add them to this uh, list here. And then when I look at the results, I will see a list of the items in the SharePoint site. So back over to SharePoint, here is the list of items in the site. So I have the title, quantity, what they ordered, the cost, and things like that, and then who created it. But then once I've created this query, I not only have the name of who created it, but I have all this extra information about each of the people who created the items in the list and I didn't have to ask them for it. So I can save this query and go look at it anytime and it's linked live back to that SharePoint list. So, and this is also very useful for surveys. So that's a lot less questions that you have to ask on a survey in SharePoint. Um, unfortunately, it surveys are not available in Access 2007 or 2010. If you happen to have a version of Access 2003 laying around somewhere, you can link to a SharePoint survey using Access 2003 for some reason, and then you'll be able to get all that information from the user table in there. So thanks, and uh, have fun creating queries in uh, Microsoft Access. Bye.